So th this is a joint work with uh, Grigory Kucherov. So the main contribution of this work is probably conceptual because we define a new problem and propose some, uh, let's say, some simple solutions to this, uh, to this problem. Okay, so this problem is variation of the document retrieval problem. So it, this is a quite standard problem by now. So pro probably the first paper was by uh, Mutu Krishnan in Soda 2000. So in this problem, we have a set of D, of D documents of total length N over an alphabet of uh, size sigma. Let's say an integer alphabet. And given a pattern, we would want to return all the distinct documents that contain the pattern as a substring. So th this is different from the standard text matching problem in which, in which we instead return all the positions where the pattern occurs. Here we just return the distinct documents. So if a pattern appears one million times in one document, we just return just the document just once. Okay, so in, uh, in this new problem that we define, uh, so our do documents are organized in a hierarchy. So we have a, a tree and uh, the tree is of, uh, of height H and we have uh, in total delta nodes in the tree, okay? And now we define a query by both a pattern and the level in the tree. So we are given a, a pattern and then we have to return all the, all, all the nodes at the given level I that contain That have that contain uh, documents, so we have to for a given uh, level i and a given pattern. We, we we would wish to return all the all the documents. Okay, it's not all the documents. All the all the nodes at level i that have documents in their subtree that contain the pattern. Okay, it's a little bit uh, little bit tricky to to express. Okay. Um, so we have several solutions to to this problem. Uh, so the first solution is using st standard data structures for uh, for the document retrieval problem, and so we augment them with the with the tree topology, and essentially this is enough to achieve. The, the, the result, but this first solution is not very efficient when the when the height of the tree is can be very large. So when when the tree is degenerate, it it, it will not be very space or time efficient. Okay, and then we have solutions based on wavelet tree, and we finally have solutions based on compressed data structures for text and document to retrieval. Okay. Uh, so this is an example of an application. So this is the the classification of the of, of the ACM. You know, ACM has a classification of uh, of, 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 of scientific subfields of uh, of computer science. And so, in 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 this case, for example, we could be asked uh, which document contain the, the term COVID-19 and which are at level L5. Okay, for, for example, which, uh, which scientific articles that contain some specific term. So instead of returning the articles, we would return the subcategories, for example, at the given level. Okay, so this is maybe a little bit artificial, but less artificial, for example, is for the field of of genomics, so for example, we could have a set of reads and we could have some DNA string and we would ask for which, for which families contain the, or instead of set of reads, let's say set of genomes. And then for given DNA string, we would ask which families contain this given String. So a family is a set of genomes, essentially. So if, uh, if that substring appears in one of these, 
of these genomes, we would return the, the family. Okay, so I will quickly present our first solution. So we, it's essentially the data st structures for document retrieval aug augmented with the, with, the tree, with the tree topology. And then essentially we can simulate a document array at every level of the tree. We would have a different document uh, array and we can simulate the operations by using the tree topology and the, docu the original document array. Okay, and uh, yeah, so this is the explanation of how the, how the queries can be solved. Uh, okay, in our other so solution, so it's based on the wavelet tree. And in this case, essentially we can, we can use a wa wa wavelet tree for which the topology is exactly the, tip the topology of the, of the categorical tree of the tree of, uh, of categories. And so once again, this solution could be inefficient if the, if the height of the tree is very large, but we can use standard heavy path decomposition and a more so sophisticated uh, way to get uh, better worst case performance for the, for the problem. Okay, and we also have compressed solutions, which are basically based on standard compressed text indexing data structures and standard techniques in this field. Okay, and finally, uh, as an open problem, it would be inter interesting to, to extend this problem to, to directed acyclic graphs so for example phylogenetic networks and to support more sophisticated queries for, for example uh, for top k retrieval so for example we would return the, the the categories in decreasing order of frequency okay i think i am done if you're 